two works for you sports from the NBA Finals in Miami. Hello, my friends, with my colleague, Caden McFarlane, Al Jerkins. We are live in Miami getting set for game four. And, Caden, I hate asking that must-win question, yeah. but I had to ask it. Kevin Durant, is this a must-win situation? Because if you don't win it, the 3-1 being down could be a disaster. Kevin, is this as close to a must game as it can get without being using the word must, if I must? You can say that. <laughs> you know, it's, it's another game. No. Uh, we just got to take it a possession at a time. You know, uh, game four is, is the biggest game of the series. You know, we can't go down 3-1. We got to understand that over there in the locker room, it's a team that really want it. You got a couple of guys that they want this, so nothing's going to be given to us. We got to go take it. And Thunder, uh, Caden, if the Thunder do lose down 3-1, no team's ever come back from 3-1, they're in a little bit of trouble. I think they are. And, you know, the Miami Heat have had so much pressure on them to win this title for the past two years. And they're only two games away. I get the sense that they're beginning to smell it. The Thunder was as out of sorts as I've seen them at the end of game three. We're here, here in Miami. They got to turn the beat around. Uh, we get out and transition off of our steals, off of our blocks. And we have to create those opportunities for us tonight. Uh, and then we want to we want to play with more pace. Uh, I thought we played a, a, at a at a speed that wasn't our best. We can win at that speed, but we feel that we're better when we play a little faster. Just cut down on the mistakes, you know, just the small things like rebounding, and getting loose balls. Uh, but just playing harder. You know, we played hard last game. We just got to you know continue to bring that type of effort, and um, we'll be all right. All righty, now Brian Davis, who's been doing the TV work for the Thunder for all four years they've been in Oklahoma, uh, was very optimistic today. He should be. Let's face it, he's a cheerleader, but he brought up some good points as well. Here's Brian Davis. Do you think game four tonight they can put it all together all four quarters? Uh, they feel like they can. I think, Al, that they feel like they're just this close. But on the other hand, you've got to go out and do it. Uh, credit Miami. Uh, they're a very active, agile, physical defense. They have forced the Thunder to play more half-court basketball than Oklahoma City would like. So a little bit more pace at the offensive end and a little bit more grit. Like I thought that the Thunder did a good job showing in game three at the defensive end. And, and you there's a good chance it's all going to come together here. All righty, he's optimistic, and obviously if he's correct, it'll be 2-2, and we'll guarantee a game six in Oklahoma City, but first things first. No reason to think it won't be another close one. I've gained a lot of respect right. for this Miami team and just how hard they play. I think it comes down to the wire again. you got to make the key plays. All right, we'll have the post game for you on our morning show. Also, tomorrow at 6 and 10 for Caden McFarland. Al Jerkins reporting live from Miami, Florida for Two, two Works for You Sports.